Stay now on the heartbreaking theft of an expensive puppy from the Pennsylvania SPCA. There is now a substantial reward for information leading to the arrest of whoever stole the rare breed. Alexander Hoff has details on the person that made it out of the shelter with the dog unnoticed. To enter a shelter with the promise of providing a dog with a second chance and a forever home is a selfless, heartwarming act. But that is not what this was. On Friday morning, we had a staff member who had found a little Shiba Inu puppy running loose in her neighborhood. So she brought it into us um, in order to hopefully try and reunite the puppy with its owner. The puppy was placed in the kennel area at the Pennsylvania SPCA's Erie Avenue headquarters, where owners can easily ID their lost pets. But the person who appeared just a few hours later, seen here in a surveillance photo, didn't appear to be a relieved owner. This individual came straight in, went directly to that puppy's cage and removed the puppy um, from the kennel. Out of safety for the animals in the event of an emergency, the cages in this kennel area are not locked. He had a backpack with him, so he stuffed the puppy in the backpack, proceeded to put it on his back and then immediately walk out of the facility. The stolen puppy is part of the Shiba Inu breed. According to website listing, Shiba Inu puppies are valued between 1000 and 25 it's hard to know whether his motivation was to take this puppy for himself or potentially take this puppy because it's so valuable and potentially sell it to someone else. That suspect was last seen on surveillance video walking towards Whitaker Avenue after 5 p.m. on Friday. The SPCA is offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to the puppy's return and this man's identification. Nicole Wilson, who you just heard from there, could remember one other occasion where a dog was stolen from their kennel. That dog was recovered and the thief identified, so she's hopeful that this puppy will not be gone for long. Yuki? Mm, okay, Alex, thank you.